Senator Hirono. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Hall and I first want to thank you for the department's financial support to help save Hawaii's remaining native forest birds. I am hopeful that the strong partnership with federal, state, and nonprofit partners will advance key access actions to prevent the extinction of these culturally and ecologically significant birds. In the last few months, there have been many hearings in the state legislature relating to the efforts to save our endangered birds and um, this engagement of our local youth and Native Hawaiians in particular has been very um, important. It's been very moving because these are young people who are passionate about their desire to save these remaining Native birds. So as DOI looks to fiscal year 2024, can you talk briefly about the department's plans and resources needed to continue supporting these efforts? Thank you very much, Senator. And of course, we recognize the importance of Hawaiian uh, birds to the ecology uh, and mm -hmm. what they bring to the forests and to the culture of the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, the bill funding has been critical for this effort to prevent the extinction of birds imperiled by, the av by avian malaria. And so, um, you know, further support of the work we're doing will allow us to move forward with the multi-agency strategy to address this disease um, and uh, coordination among federal agencies and with the Native Hawaiian community, the state of Hawaii, and other partners is critical to finish this job. Thank you. So what I'm hearing is you will have a uh, pay continued attention and pr provide support Absolutely. for saving our endangered birds. Yeah. I am, I am working with my colleagues to ensure that the compacts of free association for the Marshall Islands, the Republic of Palau, and the Federal States of Micronesia are in place before financial support begins to expire at the end of this fiscal year. And I note that your testimony mentions uh, the importance of this financial support. I'd like to point out, though, we, need, we also need to restore in the compacts the ability of the compact citizens who are living in our country throughout our states, not just Hawaii, but in Arkansas and other states throughout our country, that we need to restore access to federal benefits for these COFA citizens. And I'd like to have that uh, restoration language put in the compact. So this is not just funding the uh, compacts to the countries themselves, but also to provide, a, to enable the citizens living in our country uh, the kind of support that they should be entitled to. So I'd like to uh, uh, work with you on uh, making sure that this language is included in the compacts, which, by the way, is critical to our national defense. And DOD is well aware of how important the compacts are to our own national security. This is a, a situation in which there are three agencies that are um, involved, that's uh, Interior, because it's our committee that approves these compacts. Mm -hmm. Then we have the DOD, which is the major beneficiary, not to mention our country, uh, beneficiary of the, the national security provided under these con compacts, and then the State Department. And that is why all three administrative, administrative agencies need to come together to restore the uh, eligibility for uh, the social services programs that are so important. So I'd like to be able to work with you to talk with you about uh, how we can go forward. I also wanted to, to thank you for your commitment to engaging with the in indigenous communities, uh, including the Native Hawaiian communities, and in particular, the recent announcement from the Department's Office of Native Hawaiian Relations that another one million will be available for Native Hawaiian organizations to utilize throughout uh, through the Hawaiian Opportunities Heritage, I'm sorry, Heritage Opportunities in Hawaii Grant Program. And this program is designed to enhance the tourism industry with the vibrant aspects of the Native Hawaiian community in a sustainable and equitable way. I know that you know how important tourism is to Hawaii's economy. But I also know that so many of the tourists who come to Hawaii very much appreciate the, their ability to experience the Native Hawaiian culture. And so uh, while we need to work to enhance our support for tourism, this has to be done through a, a, a lot of sensitivity to the interests of the Native Hawaiian community and also our environment. And I'd like to ask you to continue to make sure that, uh, that those uh, aspects are 
uh, very much uh, paid attention to as we go forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator.